Hi everyone, spring is pretty much here and I've been slowly transitioning my spring wardrobe over the last couple of months. I started picking up a couple of new pieces while the sales were on back in December and I try to think very carefully about how these pieces were going to be added to my wardrobe, if they work well with my existing wardrobe, how I'm going to be layering them in with other seasons, for example, not just spring but winter as we transition um, from the colder weather to the warmer weather and then also think Thinking about how it can transition into summer and fall as well so I always try to be very conscious of how I'm shopping and how I'm adding pieces into my wardrobe so in this video I'm gonna be showing you what I got and how I'm gonna be styling it now I should mention that I do live in Canada it's quite chilly where I am and spring can be a little deceiving because it gets warm and then next thing you know we have snow again so that's why you're gonna be seeing me layering a lot of nice wools and leather boots things like that that are very comfortable and warm but also if it does happen to get warmer then at least I can take off a layer and feel like I'm appropriately dressed so things that I picked up are these Margiela workwear jeans I am so obsessed with workwear jeans right now and these ones have more of a cropped length they are sold out so I'm going to be listing a pair of Carhartt jeans in the description down below if you're looking for something similar. I styled it with the wardrobe NYC ribbed tank that I recently picked up. I don't really have a lot of white tank tops and I thought maybe I needed one for spring and I just love how it goes with this oversized blazer from the Frankie shop. Just a really quick style hack here. I'm sure that a lot of you already know this one, but if you use an elastic band, you can keep your sleeves up and prevent it from rolling down. This is a great hack. I do this all the time and I do it with my shirts as well. Now, another thing that I recently got is this canvas tote bag from Mizo Kitsune. I already have a white version of it and I find myself reaching for it a lot. And when I saw the black one come up on sale, I thought I just, I needed it in my wardrobe. <laughs> Another thing that I got are these Bonnie Clyde sunglasses. These are the Shy Guy sunglasses and they have a yellow tinted lens. I've been looking for yellow sunglasses for some time now and I love the bold shape on these ones. Uh, the frame is black and I love how the yellow contrasts really nicely and it's a nice pop of color to bring a little bit of an airiness to my monochrome outfits come spring. Now I just wanted to show you how I style the pieces that I got with pieces that I already have in my wardrobe. For example, this Balenciaga shirt with the logo on the back. I've had this for a number of years now and I reach for it repeatedly come spring and summer. It's a great shirt. So that just goes to show the importance of buying things that you love and that you'll cherish over time. For the colder days, this is something that I would definitely wear and I feel very comfortable in. It is my Adder Air wool blazer and I think it just goes really well with those workwear jeans from Margiela and the Shy Guy glasses in the yellow tint. And then of course I could ditch the jacket and wear my North Face fleece. If it's a chillier day, I would definitely reach for it on a spring day. Why not? It gets quite cold here sometimes. And then again, if I want to ditch the jacket and just put a blazer on over top to keep warm, I would do that. And then all of a sudden it doesn't feel like my outfit is too, um, too wintry, which is good. Now, as I'm doing my spring wardrobe refresh, I also try to think about my home and maybe adding some pieces in there that might help liven the place up. Things like candles, like adding a new area or scent, something floral, something lighter for spring is something that makes me happy. I also have this thing for vessels. I love bosses and these ones from Anissa Kremice. I think that's how you say her name. Um, they make me so incredibly happy. So every now and then I try to add a new vase to my collection because I really love decorating with vases. These two monochrome ones are from 101 Copenhagen and they were gifts during Christmas. I actually got these from my best friends. Um, they each gave me one and I really cherish them and I love the shape of them. I think they're very interesting and really beautiful. 
refreshing my home, refreshing my wardrobe is something that I think about. And those are just some of the pieces that I recently picked up. I do have some other videos planned coming very soon. I just have to finish editing them and upload them to YouTube, but make sure you keep watching. Subscribe to my channel, please. And thank you. I very much appreciate all of the comments, all of the likes, everything, all of your support. Really thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And yeah, I'll see you on Instagram and on my next video. And I hope everybody is enjoying the warmer, beautiful days. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.